so good morning in this lecture we will tell about the secondary structure of protein so let us start the lecture So, let us take a peptide CONH. CONH. Then what happens? Just see. A lone pair of nitrogen comes here. The lone pair of nitrogen comes here. And as oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, so the electron density of carbon goes towards oxygen. So, what is the situation? These nitrogen comes here. The lone pair of nitrogen comes here. As oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, so electron density of carbon goes towards oxygen. So, this bond will become double bond and this bond will become single bond. This bond will become double bond and this bond will become single bond. Now, nitrogen is losing the electron. So, it will be plus and oxygen is gaining the electron. So, it will be minus. So, this bond will be double bond and this bond will be single bond. This is losing the electron. So, it, this, will be, this nitrogen will be plus. And oxygen is gaining the electron, so it will be minus. So just see, C single bond O minus, double bond NH plus. So what is the situation? Nitrogen is losing the electron, so it will be plus. Oxygen is gaining the electron, so it will be minus. This will be single bond, and this will be double bond. Just see, this will be double bond, and this will be single bond. Oxygen is minus. And nitrogen is plus. So as a result of this resonance, the carbon nitrogen bond becomes double bond. Carbon nitrogen bonds acquires a double bond character. As a result of this resonance, so what happens? Carbon nitrogen, this carbon nitrogen bond, this carbon nitrogen bond acquires some double bond character. This carbon nitrogen bond acquires some double bond character. So, what is the situation? Just see. Bangla bolchi. Nitrogen a lone pair ta ekhane galo. Carbon ethic oxygen basic electronegative bole. Carbon ethic electron on to card dig galo. Oxygen ethic. Nitrogen ethic electron on to ethic galo. Carbon ethic oxygen basic electronegative bole. Carbon ethic electron on to oxygen ethic galo. And nitrogen ki kochi. In each ki kochi actually. Electron take shade ethic. Tajaneta in each plus. Oxygen ki kochi, electron take a grohon kochi. Then you O minus. The nitrogen, oxygen, electron ke chere dichi, then you plus. Our oxygen, electron ke grohon kochi, then you minus. Our A much canner bond a key of it. I think a sip to chetal A bond to a double bond. Our eta a canna jet, a bond to a single bond. The A bond to a double bond. Our A bond to a single bond. Then you have carbon, single bond O minus. Double bond in each plus. I mean, I will see the key of a plus oxygen the minus. Oxygen the minus in each the plus. A bond a kilo, double bond. Double bond alo, A bond a kilo, single bond. Kigache Thale Car A resonance to Jonah Kioche. A carbon nitrogen and the kioch, carbon nitrogen of the kioch, a double bond dust, carbon nitrogen of the kioch, a double bond dust. It is an essential carbon nitrogen of the kioch, a double bond dust. Next, what are the bondings responsible for the secondary structure of protein? What are the bondings responsible for the secondary structure of protein? In this, we will explain only two bondings, and in our next lecture, we will explain another three bondings. So, what are the bondings responsible for the secondary structure of protein? First is hydrogen bonding. First is hydrogen bonding. Very important. Hydrogen bonding. So, let us see. One peptide in H. So, one peptide in H and another peptide CO. So, just see. In NH. 
So hydrogen bonding occurs between the CO of one peptide and the NH of another peptide. So that's just see, hydrogen bonding occurs between the CO of one peptide and NH of another peptide. Just see, the hydrogen of NH, the hydrogen of NH of one peptide undergo hydrogen bonding with oxygen of CO of another peptide. So hydrogen of NH of one peptide undergo hydrogen bonding with oxygen of CO of another peptide. Hydrogen of NH of one peptide undergo hydrogen bonding with oxygen of CO of another peptide. So hydrogen of NH of one peptide undergo hydrogen bonding with oxygen of CO of another peptide. Actually, what is the situation? Actually, what is the situation? Now, this hydrogen bonding is maximum when this hydrogen and oxygen lies on the same line. This hydrogen bonding is maximum when this hydrogen and this oxygen lies on the same line, means collinear. This hydrogen and this oxygen lies on the same line. This hydrogen and this oxygen lies on the same line, means collinear. So, Hydrogen bonding taki have acta peptide in age. Even opur acta peptide is see or mud the hobby. Acta peptide in age. Even opur acta peptide is see or mud the hobby. In age, acta peptide in age, hydrogen. Even opur acta peptide is see or oxygen. Edutor mud the hydrogen bonding of it. The carcar mud the hydrogen bonding of it. Acta peptide in age, hydrogen. Opur at the peptide, CO oxygen and mode hydrogen bonding the hobby. At the peptide, NH hydrogen. Even Opur at the peptide, CO oxygen and mode hydrogen bonding of. Cocon hydrogen bonding the maximum of it? Jocon hydrogen, even oxygen. Jocon hydrogen, NH hydrogen. Even CO oxygen. NH hydrogen. Even CO oxygen. Aki line it had been. NH hydrogen among CO oxygen, aki line at Hagbe means collinear. Pokon hydrogen bonding the maximum of a Jokon NH hydrogen among CO oxygen, aki line at Hagbe. Next, number two bonding response. Number two is the electrostatic force. This is the second bonding responsible for the secondary structure of protein. So, number two is the electrostatic force. This is the second. This is the second bonding responsible for the secondary structure of protein. So, number two is the electrostatic force. Let us consider there is one C double minus. Let us consider there is one C double. There is C double minus and in each four plus. Let us consider that there is C double minus and in each four plus. So, what happens when two C double minus when two C double minus are in close contact? When two C double minus are in close contact, both both are C double minus. So one is C double minus, another is also C double minus. Means both are minus. So when two C double minus are in close contact, so both are C double minus. So there will be same charge. So there will be what? So there will be what? Both are same charge. So there will be repulsor. But when C double minus and in each four plus. C double minus and NH4 plus are in close contact. Means one is C double minus, means one is minus. And that is NH4 plus, means another is plus. So one is minus, another is plus. Means there is opposite charge. Opposite charge means opposite charge. What does opposite charge do? Opposite charge attract each other. So there will be attraction. So let us consider that there is C double minus and NH4 plus. So when two C double minus are in close contact, means one is C double minus, another is also C double minus. One is C double minus, and another is also C double minus. So both are minus. So both are minus. So same charge means repulsion. But when C double minus and in each four plus are in close contact, means one is minus, another is plus. 
C double minus and H4 plus means one is minus and another is plus. So opposite charge, one is minus, another is plus, means opposite charge. So there will be attraction. So how is attraction created? Electrostatic attraction is created between C double O minus. So salt bridge is prepared due to the electrostatic attraction between C double O minus and NH4 plus. The salt bridge is prepared due to the electrostatic attraction between C double O minus and NH4 plus. So how is salt bridge prepared? Salt bridge is prepared due to the attraction between C double O minus and NH4 plus. So second bonding term the responsible of chess is electrostatic force. Jokon duto C double O minus. Duto C double O minus kachakachi. Duto C double O minus kachakachi. Ecta C double O minus, adecta C double O minus. Tell it dutoiki minus. Tutoi minus. Tell a minus minus. Tutoi same charge. Tell it here. Because shown of it. Our bullshit. Ecta C double O minus. Adecta C double O minus. Ecta C double O minus. Adecta C double O minus. Tell it here. Ecta C double O minus. Opota C double O minus. Tell it here. Dutoi C double O minus. When dutoi minus. Tell it here. Because shown of it. Into. Acta C double minus, you don't add the NH4 plus. Acta C double minus, you don't add the NH4 plus. A cure. C double minus, acta to minus. And NH4 plus the key? Plus. The plus or minus, you don't know the cure. Opposite charge, the other one of the cure. A portion of it. The acta to C double minus, and acta to NH4 plus. The acta C double minus the key charge. Minus. And acta NH4 plus the charge the key. Plus. A plus or minus, it will the key of the opposite charge. Opposite charge maniki, a question of it. A electric salt bridge cohort to you, salt bridge to you of it. Jokon C double minus among in each four plus and mode electrostatic attraction catch could be. Salt bridge cohort to you. Jokon electrostatic attraction catch could be car mode. C double minus among in each four plus and mode. So let us come to the conclusion of this lecture. In this lecture, we are done. The two bondings responsible for the secondary structure of protein. What are the two bondings? First is hydrogen bonding, and second is the electrostatic force. So in this lecture, we have done amra ki korechi? Two bonding korechi. Car secondary structure protein. Kiki hydrogen bonding among electrostatic force. Thank you. If you have any problem, please contact me in my contact number and WhatsApp number. Thank you.